Hello, I'm Louise Castle. I'm Bishop Pete's advisor in healing and wholeness for the diocese. I'm both a, a self-supporting minister and a GP. Both my jobs and all of my ministry are about healing in one way or another. In all of it, I heal by listening, by touching, by laying on of hands, to reassure, to stitch or to bandage or to pray or to anoint. I'm here to introduce the Sheffield Diocesan Advisory Group for Healing and Wholeness and to find out what sort of healing and wholeness ministry you are already doing and what we can do to help you do more of it. Our aim as a group is to encourage healing to be a central part of the mission and ministry of the diocese and to resource safe healing practice through good training, modelling, signposting and networking throughout the diocese. We are a skilled team, which includes acute mental health and hospice chaplains, a parish nurse, uh, healthcare professionals, retired parish priests passionate about healing ministry, one who is a member of the Order of St Luke and one who is a chaplain at the cathedral. Since we started work, we have spent time creating the Healing and Wholeness page of the diocesan website to signpost you to resources to share guidelines for good practice and to share information about what healing ministry is going on around the diocese so that we can inspire and resource one another. There are orders of service, photos and all sorts of useful information on the page. We have set up a Healing and Wholeness Facebook group which you can access through the diocesan website to share ideas and created a Healing and Wholeness contact list which receives a quarterly newsletter about healing and wholeness events and about services throughout the diocese. The group aims to model good practice by running a monthly healing service at the cathedral and quarterly services at Rotherham Minster and St Mark's Broomhill. An important part of our work is networking with other dioceses and healing advisors, again to share ideas and develop guidelines and good practice. We run two or three healing events throughout the year in the diocese to resource healing ministry and enable networking. Keep your eye on the e-bulletin. This year's events are an exploration of Healing Day at St Bart's the Vine in June and a trauma-informed ministry workshop at St Mark's Broomhill in October. Please join in in whatever way you would find helpful. We'd love to see you at an event. Or visit our page of the diocesan website to see what is on offer and email me to ask questions, share ideas or to ask for help or information. I can come out and visit to help you think about your plans or to start your own healing service. Sign up for the Healing and Wholeness quarterly newsletter and updates. And please let me know about your healing ministry so that I can add it to the website to signpost it to people looking for a healing service. We can do so much more if we resource each other. Modern definitions recognise that health is more than the absence of disease. Being healthy is not just about being well, but in fact is about flourishing, wholeness, resilience and being in community with each other. If you analyse the Gospels, you will find that Jesus spent more than 70% of his time healing. And of course, that's what he asked us, his followers, to do too. Healing is powerful stuff. It is missional and crosses boundaries, reaching out to those of all faiths and none. So let's learn to do healing ministry together, whatever it looks like. Let's learn to walk alongside each other, to listen properly, and to give people time, space and love. To use the sacraments, all sorts of prayer, and to signpost and work across boundaries with clinicians. Healing is not just about getting better. It is about flourishing. Please join in in whatever way you'd find helpful. We'd love to see you at an event. Or visit our page of the diocesan website to see what is on offer. And email me to ask for questions, to share ideas, or to ask for help or information. I can come out and visit to help you think about your plans or to start your own healing service. Sign up for the Healing and Wholeness quarterly newsletter and updates. And please, let me know about your healing ministry so that I can add it to the website. 
to signpost it to people looking for a service. 